All right, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwa Dash. All right, double honors unto the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, aka the 100% truth. And uh, I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim. I'm on our Telegram, t.me slash kings, kings of the earth, t.me slash kings of the earth. Join the Telegram. But I'm about to play this video I came across on Telegram. All right. And we're going to listen to this. Uh, these so-called rabbis. They call the so-called white man and Christianity in the West in general. Edom. They say that they're the Edomites and that they're the eternal enemy of the Jews. That's what they say. Now, the reason I'm bringing this out, because you got this guy, Vocab Malone. He's always getting on us because we say we're the Israelites. And we say all the Edomites are going to be destroyed. And then we tell you who the Edomites are. And he's like, oh, that's preposterous. He's just making stuff up. Well, why don't you make a video about, about the rabbis? Okay. Because, you know, Vocab Malone believes that these guys are the real Jews. And listen to what they're saying. Listen, let's listen to what they say, because they're saying that their enemy are the Edomites, and they say, say the so-called white men are Edomites, even though they're Edomites themselves. I mean, they come from Europe. But let's watch this. And not all Europeans are Edomites, obviously. There's no such thing as a European. You got a lot of Israelites living all through Europe that look like white people. Irish, Scots, you know, Israelites scattered in Poland, Germany. Italy, all over the place. But let's watch this. You have to go to Edom, Europe, like Christian priests have totally fallen. You heard him right. He said Edom. <laughs> Listen. Edom, you have to go to Edom, Europe, like Christian priests. He said the Messiah will turn only once. Edom, Europe, Christian Christianity will be totally destroyed. All right. Now let's listen. Now, this is what the so-called Jews believe. And I know there's a wide variety of Jews and they don't all have the same beliefs, but a lot of them do have the same beliefs. It's even in their books and in their writings. And I, I have a book, Lord, one I'm going to get to after this. I'm going to show you. It says the same thing as this. And uh, the so-called Jews, oh, let me just get it. Let's watch it. I'm going to read it just in case you can't, you know, in case. So, so I ask you, is it good news that Islam invades Europe? Islam invades Europe? Oh, yeah. Vocab Malone, he gets mad at us because we're on the street corners teaching. Well, these guys right here, they're making moves on a global scale. All right. You know, engaging, engaging genocide and subversion on on unheard of levels, bro. Okay, so you got to know who the true <laughs> adversary is. I'm trying to watch what I say. This video is toast. Let's go. Yeah, how come I can't say anything about him? If I say anything too bad about him, bye bye YouTube channel. Look, the excellent news, it means the coming of the Messiah. So them saying, you know, uh, Christianity being destroyed is, is the, the, a sign of the coming of the Messiah. So this guy, these guys, they want to destroy Christianity. That's what they're saying. I didn't say it. So, Vocab Malone, you should be more worried about these guys. You over here worried about us. You know, some guys out here just working regular jobs. <laughs> you know, just when we, we go on the streets on the weekend and teach and we make videos on YouTube. And you're worried about us. It ain't too bright, son. Excellent news. Excellent news. You're going to pay very well, Europeans. What do you say? You will pay dearly, you European. What did it say? Let me go back. Oh, I, I missed it. You will pay dearly for it, Europeans. To such an extent, you have no idea. And you will have no place to run to because all the evil you have done to Israel, you will pay for it a hundredfold. He said when Italy would be gone, I'm, I'm just reading it because I don't know how the end quality is going to turn out. It says when Edom, that is why Christianity's headquarters, which come from uh, Hassal, is there. See, he keeps calling uh, so-called white people in Christianity Edom. 
Okay, so they you so the Jew see Vocab Malone believes that these guys are the real Jews, right? Right? Okay, he believes them. He says we're not the real Jews. But these guys right here, they believe that Edom still exists. And you know, Vocab says we're going off. You know, he says, Oh, there's no more Edomites. There's no proof of any Edomites. Well, they believe there's Edomites. Your dear rabbis that you hold so dear to your heart. He said, when that place would be gone, and that's what Islam's going to do. Because they're trying to say Islam is their puppet. Islam is the broom of Israel, you have to know it. So there it is. So they, they, they're saying their enemy is Edom, which they consider pretty much to be the West in Christianity. All right. Now, what am I, I'm about to do now, I'm about to turn this thing off right here. And I'm about to get a book out. It's a Jewish book. Let's just check it out. All right. I have this book right here. Dictionary of Judaism in the Biblical Period. Editor in chief is Jacob Neusner and William Scott Green, the editor. His names are kind of sus. All right, but I'm going to turn to Edom. You know, Vocab Malone says, you know, all the Edomites were done away with. We're just make. he says we're just making stuff up. Okay, look, we know what we're talking about. Edom, a land southeast of the land of Israel, encompassing Mount Seir, Deuteronomy 1 and 2, or the land of Seir, Genesis 36 and 30. In rabbinic writings, an enemy of the people of Israel specifically Rome. This may be because the Herodians were descended from converts to Judaism of Edomite origin, right? The, the Herodian dynasty, or like Herod the Great. Uh, hey, hey, Herod the Gross, yeah. Herod the Great. He was an Edomite, and he was a puppet king. He was put in there by, by the Romans, all right? So obviously, the Romans put one of their own in there, you know, to rule over the Jews, and he pretended to be a Jew, and actually, I haven't even heard rabbis refer to the Herodians as Jewish. Because, you know, I've heard a, a lot of rabbis, they consider Edomites to be Jewish, some of them. They, a lot of them teach different stuff, though. But they all share this in common. In Scripture, Edom is described as having taken advantage of Israel's defeat to seize parts of the land. Ezra is 25 and 12, Obadiah 1 is 16. It says 11. He's a bad editor. And also having participated in the destruction of the temple, Psalms 137 and 7. Edom is compared to a pig and to an eagle, as is Rome, and Edom, Seir, and Esau are all symbols for Rome. I'm going to read that again. Edom is compared to a pig and to an eagle, as is Rome, and Edom, Seir, and Esau are all are all symbols for Rome. See, so that, that's a very popular belief among the so-called Jews is they, they've been taught the Romans were Edomites. And to this day, they consider the descendants, you know, the Roman Empire it was the rulers in the West. They consider them to be Edomites, even though they're Edomites themselves. All right, I've actually had some of them tell me, yeah, I'm an Edomite. We had this one video we made years ago we was up on campus. I seen a so-called Jew, and I asked him. I was like, uh, "I was like, did you know that you're actually an Edomite?" I was being rude. I could have been better. Whatever. I was being rude. I go. This was years and years ago. I was like, oh, "Don't you know you're an Edomite?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "They taught me that in the temple." I was like, "Wow." He actually admitted it. He said they taught me that in the temple. See. But there it is. The whole point of this video that I wanted to bring out was uh, you got these so-called Jews that, that they believe that the Edomites are still around. And to them, the Edomites is Christianity. So they're directly attacking, you know, like Vocab Malone's precious religion. And he ain't doing nothing about it, but he's worried about us. Okay. Get out of here. And that's probably all I can say on this video. It'll probably get... They, I've probably said too much in this video. So I'm just going to stop it right here. We read, actually, you know what? I'm not just going to stop it. Let me turn to Amalek. Amalek. 
even though the small hats are actually Amalek. But let's see. Let's see what the Jews say it is. Uh, Amalek, blood enemy of Israel, Exodus 17 and 8 through 16. Symbolizing implacable foes through all time. He is described as the irre uh, irreconcilable enemy, ancestor of all later enemies, and is often identified with Rome. So who are the Amalekites? The Amalekites are Edomites. Like I said, the small hats, that they call the Western world an Edomite, you know, the so-called white man. They call him, uh, they say that he's Edom. I mean, they're kind of right, but uh, they need to take a look in the mirror. All right. But at the end of the day, too, I would say that like Israel scattered among all nations. All right. I'm just throw that out there, you know, because a lot of people are simple minded. You still got to judge people one one person at a time. But as a whole, we can say, you know, the so-called uh, those Ashkenazis. Those aren't the real Jews, bro. Come on with that. I'm up out of here. I'm going to say uh, Shalom.